Special project, 4x4 G Wagon, the 4x4 squared, factory, not a conversion, a real 4x4. You guys saw us about two years ago, we completed a convertible chop top 4x4 with the back seat in the back. This is gonna be pretty much almost an identical version. We have everything lined up, there's nothing in the interior, took all that out. We're gonna do non-precision cuts right now, they, they're not meant to be straight or perfect. This is just gonna be to get the back portion off of it, which is the main part of it. We're gonna get that off. After that, it's all about the cleanup lines, fabricating the lines, the body lines, all that stuff, making the rear custom glass, all of that. This is not one of those G-Wines we're cutting the whole top off of. As you saw before, we're creating our own body line, our own roof line. Everything is still gonna be intact, the top roof, airbags, everything. We're gonna get to cutting right now and show you guys what we do. Lamborghini Urus here. It's fully apart. Most of it is wrapped already, as you can see. It's this beautiful brushed uh, black metallic vinyl we're using. Normally, not the biggest fan, but I think on this truck, it's actually turning out really nice. This is a really cool combo. This is going to be more of the dark theme as opposed to my brighter theme. So uh, stay tuned and see this done. A Suzuki here. I mean parts are very very hard to find. This car has cooling leaks from everywhere So Santos is actually custom making some stuff here to make things work because parts are not available for this car So after we're done, we're gonna pressure test it make sure there's no more coolant leaks and I give this car back to the customer today This is what Santos is trying to uh, copy here so we gotta copy this. Um, Santos is almost there. Almost had this thing put together. So let's see how it works. So right now in my hands I have 
a Urus rear bumper. All this area you see here gets covered with the diffuser, so we don't need to really paint in there. But really, it's all about most of the sides. Um, so all that stuff is painted body color now. Once we throw on the black diffuser, the contrast with the white and black is gonna go really good together. So we're gonna get that ready right now to put it on the car. Another Urus, saying that a lot, but we're going through these guys. It's really an amazing car. I've been daily driving mine and I can't say anything bad about it. Thankfully, we do what we do and we make them look really good. This is another completely different variation. This has the, some of the 1016 Industries body kit, but it's not in carbon fiber. It's an FRP, which is gonna be significantly uh, lower costs. So for the guys that don't care about carbon fiber or forged carbon, they just want to make it look beefier, they could order this kit through us um, and then you have to paint it. So this car right now, everything on the side is stock. So the moldings on the fender and the quarter panels and the rocker panels, they're all body color painted white to the car. So that looks really sleek on the side. The wheels are the stock 22s. They are powder coated gloss black. This car is lowered and we installed spacers on this car. We perfected the stance on it. We know exactly what spacers to use. So it sits really, really nice and flush. The front bumper has the 1016 FRP front lip on there. We painted that in white, not black. We wanted to give a little beefier approach to the front of it. So it's got that front lower lip in the front. It's got the top wing, the trunk spoiler, and the whole diffuser from 1016. The diffuser was painted in gloss black. It's really massive, looks amazing. I think it's one of my favorite Euruses to date right now. So. Uh, on to more Euruses. finished with this Suzuki uh, this car did have so many leaks as you guys know uh, the repairs were successful we did everything correct all the pipes are new um, hoses are new this car is running good there's no leaks it's been tested we're just on a quick test drive just to make sure the temperature is good everything is normal it's Friday busy day at RDBLA um, almost the end of the week we still have one day to go which is tomorrow um, we still have a lot of work to do so uh, let's head back to the shop I'm going 30 miles per hour so they cannot give me a ticket. But then again, you never know. Uh, coolant system's perfect, but there is a lot of noise with the power steering. Uh, this car's not here for power steering repair, but we can't get rid of the car that way, so uh, we're gonna make sure that it's a little quieter. So when she gets out of here, she'll notice that we did something extra. It's about taking care of people here. Finishing up installing a Quicksilver exhaust system on this Urus. I just downloaded their app right now because this exhaust system comes with the Sound Architect, which is basically another way of uh, controlling sound on their system.
done with this car yet. There's a lot more to go, but if you see the back end, you'll see a little bit of what's going on with this project. As you can see, this is a black brushed wrap. It looks actually really good on the Urus. All the lines pop out with this wrap. It's also getting a forged carbon 1016 Industries body kit. Some of the parts are on there. There's a few more we're waiting for. And then there's a phase two of this car that you guys will see, which will make it even more crazier. But for now, this is the back end. Not completely done, but we're almost there. For the guys that don't know, Urus is, they come with stock electronic valves. However, they're not fully controllable by the driver. In Strato mode, it's off, but in Sport mode, it opens when it chooses to. So it's not always open. So we wanted to get rid of that. We wanted to control it ourselves, completely open, completely closed. That's what the sound architect switch will do. It's app based, so you control it with your iPhone. For now, we got carbon fiber tips on there. They don't make forged carbon, so we're gonna deal with that. The Quicksilver system is a great option, it sounds good. No cap pipes on this yet, so again, the mufflers on these stock are pretty good. The aftermarket mufflers make it a little bit nicer, but still not anything crazy. You gotta really mess with the catalytic converters for that, which gets super loud. I tried it on my car. We're gonna show you a lot more in the coming weeks with this guy. Um, phase one will be ready in a couple days. Phase two after, along with my phase two build. But yeah, so uh, enjoy.